Now, Communications Minister Fami Fadzil expressed confidence that the new regulatory framework for a safer internet will not deter investments in the country. On the contrary, he believes that investors will be encouraged by the new regulations, which are set to be implemented next year, as they will provide a much clearer regulatory environment. We believe that, um, it, if anything, this might uh, spur further investment because the regulatory landscape is much clearer uh, and uh, when we know these boundaries are there. Fami said this to Bernama and Nikkei Asia during an interview at the end of his three-day working visit to Singapore on Tuesday. Although there has been demand from segments of the public to suspend certain social media platforms, especially due to cases of cyberbullying, he said the government has decided to take the middle path by engaging with and working together with the platforms towards implementing the framework. Explaining the government's decision to introduce licensing, Fahmi said it stemmed from the need to curb scams, child sexual abuse material and cyberbullying on these platforms, especially after the suicide of social media influencer A. Rajiswari, also known as Esha, which sparked public outcry. The decision was not made overnight as engagements with the platforms began in February. They are also given a five-month grace period between the introduction of the framework on August 1st and its implementation on January 1st, 2025 to obtain the license.